What you're looking at right now is the official chat between the Vice President of the United States, J.D. Vance, and the Secretary of Defense, Pete Hagseth. The question is, how are we looking at it? I'm sure citizens of a democracy love transparency, but I'm not sure you're supposed to see national security chats. This is a Signal chat. Now, Signal is known for being a very secure platform where everything you type is encrypted and it even has a reputation of not being spied upon. But of course, all of that goes out the window if you invite the wrong person into your group. And that is what happened here. So someone inside this group chat invited a reporter from The Atlantic to create what appears to be a scandal. Now, in this case, as you can see, in the Houthi PC small group, <laughs> great name, luckily enough, the attacks were a success. And as you can see, everybody's happy, excellent, good start. America, what are you going to do when we come for you? But what if the reporter was not an upstanding US citizen and was actually compromised by the Houthis? This could have gone very differently. And it underscores a very important point. A platform is only as secure as as you make it. Now, it's true. This kind of discussion should have happened inside a situation room, not on a group chat on any app. But even if you do use a group chat, even if it's encrypted, all of that does not make a difference if you invite the wrong person in. And the same goes for your own cybersecurity and the cybersecurity of your organizations. And honestly, this is how most cyber attacks happen. It is not some highly technical processor vulnerability that initiates most cyber attacks. Most cyber attacks begin when the attackers find somebody's password or they get someone's phone number. They get a hacked Steam account and are able to message their friends, getting into networks that they should not be, as people they should not be. The last example of the Steam game malware was just the same thing. People on Steam getting a message from who they think is their friend saying, hey, go download this game. Now imagine if the reporter here decided to impersonate somebody like the vice president and started sending messages saying we should not attack the Houthis. You know, the funny thing is that's kind of what is happening here. So JD Vance is saying that I just hate bailing Europe out again. <laughs> To which Pete Hegseth says, I fully share your loathing of European freeloading. It's pathetic. I'm not going to get into the politics of this, but imagine if this was a foreign actor who took over the reporter's account and impersonated one of the users. Stranger things have happened. Remember when the world leaders got their Twitter accounts hacked? It was only a stroke of luck that the attackers only wanted a doubling money crypto scam. Again, the reason I'm making this video is so you understand that a big part of cybersecurity is access control. It's understanding who has access to what and verifying that time to time to make sure that things like this don't happen, that you don't have people with unauthorized access, that you're not sharing information where you shouldn't be sharing. It's not technical. And these sort of things are often overlooked for the sake of convenience, but especially when the value of the data is so high, like in this case, where it's an internal discussion between important people in the national security apparatus. There needs to be specific attention given to access control because if you don't, slip ups will happen. Now, for those of you who are interested in geopolitics, it looks like the president was clear, green light, but we soon make clear to Egypt and Europe what we expect in return. If the US successfully restores freedom of navigation at great cost, there needs to be some further economic gain extracted in return. So we have some insight into the thinking behind some of these strikes that you're seeing against the Houthis in Yemen. <laughs> it's so funny to watch national security discussions like this. It's like um, friends arguing and those F-18s are expensive. Make sure these guys pay for the gas. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.